Did you know that Michio Kaku has recently released declassified photographs from Venus, taken by the Soviet Union? Hold on to your telescopes, space enthusiasts, because these never-before-seen pictures are truly extraordinary. Rumor has it that they unveil some perplexing secrets about our scorching neighbor, Venus. What could these decades-old snapshots, captured by Soviet lenses, reveal about this enigmatic planet? Are we on the verge of reshaping our understanding of the universe? Join us as we embark on an interstellar treasure trove with renowned physicist Michio Kaku, as he uncovers mysteries that have remained hidden among the stars for years. The cosmic race began several decades ago when we reflect upon the Cold War era that unfolded after World War II and persisted until the 1980s. It is impossible to overlook the space race that unfolded between the United States and the Soviet Union. These two superpowers were engaged in a competition, each striving to demonstrate their superiority not only in military and political domains, but also in technological and scientific arenas. The realm of space exploration became one of the primary battlegrounds for this rivalry. Indeed, it was a time of numerous groundbreaking advancements in space technology. The space race was not merely about conquering the great unknown of space. It served as a symbolic stage where these two nations showcased their technological prowess and potential to the rest of the world. The Soviet Union, in particular, was eager to demonstrate its capabilities in this domain. A pivotal moment occurred in 1957 when the Soviet Union successfully launched Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite. This event was truly revolutionary, marking the dawn of a new era in space exploration. Sputnik, a tiny satellite orbiting the Earth, while emitting its distinctive beeping signal, had an enormous impact. It symbolized the commencement of a new race, a race not only toward the stars, but also for international prestige and recognition. But why was Venus the focal point during this period? Well, Venus happens to be our closest planetary neighbor, often referred to as Earth's sister planet due to its similarities in size and composition. However, like many siblings, there can be significant differences. The burning question was how similar Venus truly was to Earth. Could it potentially serve as a second home for humanity out there in space? These questions captivated scientists and the general public alike, and the Soviet Union was determined to find the answers. Thus began the era of the Venera missions. The Soviet Union launched a series of spacecraft called Venera with the aim of exploring Venus, studying its atmosphere, surface, and overall conditions. In his book, Mikio Kaku mentions the images of Venus obtained from the Soviet Union's Venera probes, which were the first and only spacecraft to transmit images from the surface of another planet. It is essential to note that Venus was the target of numerous missions during this period. However, exploring Venus is far from a walk in the park. The conditions there are extraordinarily harsh, with scorching temperatures capable of melting lead, clouds filled with sulfuric acid, and atmospheric pressure so intense that it could flatten a human. Nevertheless, the Soviets were undeterred, ready to confront these challenges head-on. The initial mission in this ambitious endeavor was Venera 1, launched in 1961. Unfortunately, it didn't go as planned. Instead of reaching Venus, Venera 1 flew past it at a considerable distance of 62,000 miles. However, the Soviet Union showed remarkable resilience, quickly regrouping and launching Venera 2 the following year. Despite their efforts, Venera 2 encountered the same fate as its predecessor and failed to reach Venus. However, as the saying goes the third time, you'll be lucky for sure. The Soviets weren't satisfied with just touching down on Venus. They wanted a first-hand view of what the planet looked like. Enter the Venera 9 and Venera 10 missions, launched in 1975. These missions aimed to send orbiters to Venus that could capture images of the planet's surface. Both Venera 9 and Venera 10 successfully entered orbit around Venus and deployed their landers to the surface. Each lander was equipped with cameras that captured the first-ever images of Venus from its surface. These images revealed a barren, rocky landscape with a reddish tint. Venera 9 transmitted the first image on October 22, 1975, followed by additional images. 
The images provided valuable insights into the surface conditions of Venus, including the texture and composition of the rocks. Venera 10 also captured images and transmitted them back to Earth, further enhancing our understanding of Venus's surface. These missions marked a significant milestone in space exploration as they demonstrated the capability of sending spacecraft to another planet, landing them successfully and transmitting visual data. The subsequent Venera missions, including Venera 11, Venera 12, Venera 13, and Venera 14, continued to provide valuable data and images of Venus. These missions carried advanced instruments to study the atmosphere, composition, and physical properties of the planet's surface. Venera 13 and Venera 14, launched in 1981, were particularly notable as they deployed landers equipped with color cameras. These landers captured color images of Venus's surface, offering a more detailed and realistic representation of the planet's landscape. The Venera missions collectively revealed important details about Venus, such as its volcanic activity, surface temperature, atmospheric composition, and geological features. They provided crucial data that contributed to our understanding of planetary formation, atmospheric dynamics, and the possibility of life on other planets. While the specific details of the recently declassified photos from Venus by the Soviet Union remain unknown to me, it is likely that they would contribute to the existing body of knowledge about the planet. These photos could potentially provide further insights into Venus's geological features, atmospheric conditions, and perhaps even reveal additional surprises about our enigmatic neighbor. The exploration of Venus by the Soviet Union during the space race era was a remarkable feat of scientific and technological achievement. It deepened our understanding of the cosmos, expanded our knowledge of planetary processes, and paved the way for future missions to explore other celestial bodies in our solar system and beyond. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, each new piece of information, whether from recently released photographs or future missions, brings us closer to redefining our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it.